Again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here! You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! Then kill me too! I was there. I saw everything. Vasily, Bach. You're big men now. 
But when he was beating Vesna for years, no one lifted a finger. Bah! Now you're all so brave against her. Go home, pray better, and leave her alone. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque.
I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? <sighs> Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that... Bukovac. He troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? Just a moment ago, I was thinking about Vienna, or Budapest, and going on from there to Paris, but now... I've got to get to Warsaw first. What about you? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is, for all of us. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect.
Warsaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? I hate this city. It always makes me think of the stench of vodka, sweat and urine. Corruption, poverty and, trust me, no justice but street justice. I'm sure something must have changed since you left. But probably not for the better. What about the people? Those close to you? You'll never miss them? I definitely didn't expect I'd be coming to my father's funeral so early. I've noticed you two had certain differences in your views on life. Yes, especially on my life. But admittedly, that's not a very exciting discovery. Is that all you've learned about me on our journey? You drool in your sleep. Anything in there about Warsaw? Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Warsaw. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch bombing? The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us, can't you? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. In this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Warsaw, end of the line! Welcome to Warsawa! I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something.
When people unite, empires fall.
Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Well, the time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None, whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocateurs. The shoe knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? I was born in Warsaw, but I'm lapsed. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warsaw! Premia Terora! Zakonzois! Idi nachoy! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Aristovac. Great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel. The Loudmouth. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. I didn't dare suggest it myself. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I'm going to take a look around.
Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves.
Name? Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? <laughs> 